Environment is very important for you to practice. You have to have appropriate environment for hands-on practice. Either you can uh, use our environment by signing up for our environment, which uh, comes with some cost, or you can leverage the existing cloud environment as part of your uh, job environment. It can be GCP or AWS or Azure or Oracle Cloud. We'll be providing all the detailed instructions related to AWS Cloud9 on AWS and also GCP. But if you want to use Azure or Oracle Cloud to actually set up the environment, then you can skip these first three topics. You have to sign up for Azure or Oracle Cloud. You need to understand about how to access their web console. You also need to understand associated costs. And then you also need to understand how to provision Ubuntu VM on those environments. Once you get the Ubuntu VM and start connecting to it, you can follow these uh, topics from this module related to GCP and you can actually set up Docker, you can validate Python, set up JupyterLab and take it further. Once you are at this stage, whether you have the environment on uh, GCP or Azure or Oracle Cloud or uh, whether you are using AWS Cloud9, it doesn't matter. For uh, setting up single node cluster, you should be able to follow the same instructions even though I demonstrate using GCP and you can take it further. Once you got the uh, VM with Ubuntu 18.04, irrespective of the cloud platform, the instructions are same. If you use our labs, you don't need to worry too much about setting up these things. We will provide all these comments out of the box for you and you should be able to practice and learn the key skills related to data engineering. Depending upon the choice you make, you have to skip the irrelevant modules for you. For example, if you want to use AWS Cloud9, you can skip this module completely. If you want to use GCP, you can skip this module completely. If you wanted to use our labs, you can skip a section two, section three, and also section four. You can directly jump on to section five. You can skip quite a few modules if you want to use our labs. So make sure you understand this and skip irrelevant modules depending upon the choices made, especially from the environment perspective. I will highlight those as we go along. Otherwise, you have to follow the complete course one video at a time in the sequence don't skip unless and until i explicitly say so if you are new to this obviously will be running into some issues it will be a road blocker for you you can raise those questions as part of the udemy q a and we will be able to support you i have a team of uh, devops engineers as well as python developers depending upon the type of the issue we will try to provide you the support also we can build a robust community over a period of time where we can support each other and learn at a decent pace if you are interested to contribute you can contribute we might end up working together in my future uh, projects in case uh, if i get opportunities to work that being said Make sure you understand these uh, dependencies related to environment. Make the decision about which uh, cloud platform you want to use or our labs. And then you skip those irrelevant modules and go to the content to complete the course as quickly as possible. 